If you're an Airbnb host who isn't using dynamic pricing, you're leaving thousands of dollars on the table right now. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything that you need to know about my favorite dynamic pricing tool, Price Labs. I've personally tested every pricing tool on the market and nothing comes close to what Price Labs can do for your business. Plus, if you stick around until the end, I'll show you my exact Price Labs setup that's helped me maximize my revenue across multiple properties. Let's dive right in and talk about why dynamic pricing is so important. Now look, I get it. Setting your nightly rates can feel overwhelming. You're probably checking competitor prices, looking at local events, and trying to figure out the perfect rate for every single night. But here's the thing, if you're manually adjusting your prices, you're fighting a losing battle. There are just too many factors to consider. Seasonal changes, local events, day of the week, booking lead time, competitor pricing, length of stay impacts. You need to factor all of these elements in to fully optimize your rates. And that's not even considering things like last minute bookings or orphan nights between stays. It's literally impossible to keep track of all these variables manually. That's where Price Labs comes in. But before I show you exactly how Price Labs works and walk you through my personal setup, I have to share one really important caveat that most people won't tell you. Don't use Price Labs right away. Now, I know that sounds crazy after everything I just shared, but hear me out. You actually want to price your listing manually for at least the first month. There are two crucial reasons for this. Number one, when you launch a brand new listing, you should be underpricing your nights by about 20%. This helps you get those crucial first bookings and reviews that will set your listing up for long-term success. I learned this the hard way with one of my first properties. I started with dynamic pricing right away and it took forever for me to get those first few bookings and first few reviews. But when I launched my next property and started about 20% under market rate, we were fully booked within days. Now, the second reason it's great to start manually pricing is that pricing manually will give you a solid understanding of where you should set your base price in Price Labs. This baseline is absolutely crucial. It's the foundation of all of Price Labs adjustments that they'll build from. Think of it like this. Price Labs is an incredible tool, but it can only optimize what you tell it to optimize. If you start with the wrong base price, even the best dynamic pricing tool won't get you the results that you want. And don't worry, we're gonna dive deep into exactly how to set that base price in just a minute. For now though, just remember, yes, you absolutely need dynamic pricing, but wait until about a month after you first launch your listing before turning it on. Those first few weeks of manual pricing will give you invaluable insights that'll make Price Labs or any other tool you use even more effective for you. All right, now let me show you exactly how Price Labs works and why it's the absolute best tool for optimizing your Airbnb pricing. When you first log into Price Labs, you'll see your dashboard. This gives you a quick overview of all your properties and their current pricing status. The first thing you'll wanna do is drill into one specific property and set up your base price. This is basically your starting point, the rate that you charge on an average night with average demand. But here's where Price Labs really shines. Instead of just using this base price, Price Labs lets you create incredibly detailed customization rules. Let me show you what I mean. One of the most powerful features in Price Labs is custom seasonal profiles. This isn't just basic summer versus winter pricing. This is next level customization that most hosts don't even know exists. Let me show you exactly how it works. Instead of just setting general seasonal adjustments, Price Labs lets you create specific profiles for different times of the year. Think about it like this. Every market has its own unique patterns. Maybe you host in a college town where prices spike during graduation weekend, parent weekends and move-in dates. Or maybe you're in a beach town where your summer pricing should be different for July and August. Here's how I set this up for one of my properties. I've created a peak summer profile that runs from May 1st to August 31st where I bump my base price up by 25%. Then I have a low season profile that covers the rest of the year. But here's the really cool part. You can layer these profiles with other rules. So maybe during your peak season, you also want to require three night minimum stay for weekends. Or maybe you want to add an extra 20% for holiday weekends that fall within that season. Price Labs lets you stack all these rules together to create the perfect pricing strategy for your specific market. To set this up, just go to your customizations tab, click on seasonal rates and hit add new profile. You can set specific dates, percentage adjustments, and even create rules that repeat year after year. The key is to really think about your market specific patterns. When do you typically see higher demand? 
when do things slow down? Are there specific events or times of the year that always drive bookings? Use those insights to create your seasonal profiles and Price Labs will automatically adjust your prices as these different seasons come and go. One other pro tip is to jump over to the neighborhood data tab and check out the future pricing graph. This graph will show you exactly where you're priced relative to your competitors all throughout the year. This is a really good way to tell if you're priced correctly. As you can see, for most of the low season, I'm priced way below my competitors, which is great because I'm in a highly unprofessional market where most of those properties will sit vacant until the high season comes around. I want my place to actually get booked, so I need to lower my rates. But then come high season, you can see that I'm actually priced well above the competition, especially on the highest demand days. That's perfect because after those low priced competitors of mine get booked up, there's still gonna be people looking for places to stay and all get booked at a much higher rate. So this graph is a really great tool for making sure that you're on the right track. One other cool feature over in the neighborhood data tab is something called the competitor calendar. This feature is absolutely game changing when it comes to understanding your market. Here's how it works. Price Labs actually tracks the availability of other listings in your area that are similar to yours. You can see exactly which dates they're booked for, what rates they're charging, and most importantly, how your pricing compares. Let me show you exactly how to use this. When you open up the competitor calendar, you'll see a grid view of different properties in your area. Each row represents a different listing and you can see their availability marked in different colors. But here's where it gets really interesting. You can also see their exact nightly rates for both booked and unbooked nights. This gives you incredible insight into how other successful properties in your area are pricing. Now, I don't recommend just copying your competitors' prices. That's actually a common mistake that I see hosts make but this data is super valuable for understanding larger market trends. For example, if you notice that most of your competitors are fully booked for a particular weekend that you didn't even know about, that might be a sign that you need to adjust your rates. Or maybe you notice that similar properties are charging way more than you for certain dates. That could mean that you're leaving money on the table. You can even filter these competitors based on number of bedrooms, property type, amenities, location, or review rating. This way, you're only comparing yourself to properties that are truly most similar to yours. Okay, now coming back over to customizations, you'll see that there's about a dozen different controls that you can adjust to further fine tune your pricing. But a word of warning, you don't wanna overdo it here. The more of these settings that you turn on, the more complicated your pricing will become. So keep it simple and as much as possible, let the software do its thing. That being said, here are a few settings that can be super useful for certain hosts. First up, let me show you another powerful feature that'll help you maximize your revenue, minimum stay profiles. This is way more advanced than just a basic two or three night minimum stay. Price Labs lets you create detailed rules that automatically adjust your minimum stay requirements based on different conditions. Here's exactly how I use this feature. Instead of keeping the same minimum stay requirements year round, I set up different profiles for different scenarios. During peak season, I require at least three nights for any booking. But as those dates get closer and they're still not booked, Price Labs automatically drops that down to two nights. For holiday weekends, I set a three night minimum that stays locked no matter what. This ensures that I'm not getting those one or two night bookings during high demand periods when I could be getting longer stays. And here's a pro tip that most hosts miss. You can also set maximum stay limits. This is super helpful if you wanna prevent someone from booking a really long stay during your peak season when you could make more money with shorter bookings at higher nightly rates. Setting this up is really straightforward. Just go into your minimum stay rules, click add new profile, and you can customize the dates this rule applies to, how far in advance it kicks in, different requirements for weekdays versus weekends, and whether you want the rule to repeat annually. The key is thinking strategically about when you want longer stays versus when you're okay with shorter bookings. Next up is last minute pricing. This is where a lot of hosts leave money on the table. Price Labs lets you automatically adjust prices based on how close you are to the stay dates. You can set different discounts for different time windows. So for example, you might wanna gradually offer a 15% discount for dates within 15 days by discounting one more percent each day. On the flip side, you can also adjust prices for bookings far into the future. This is huge because most hosts completely ignore this opportunity. I like to increase my rates for bookings more than six months out. Why? Well, because these guests are planners and they're often willing to pay a premium to lock in their dates early. 
Now, this next feature is another really useful one. It's called orphan day pricing. Let's say you have a two night gap between different bookings. Price Labs can automatically adjust the price to help fill that gap. This is something that would be nearly impossible to manage manually because there'd just be way too much going on. There are also a few settings that I would highly recommend avoiding as much as possible. These settings tend to overcomplicate things and make managing pricing a bit of a nightmare. So the first up on this list is day of the week pricing adjustments. Because you've got to remember that that Price Labs already accounts for spikes and dips in demand for any given day of the week. Layering manual overrides on top of this will almost certainly make Price Labs less effective. The next on the list is occupancy-based price adjustments. Again, this is another setting that's more or less redundant and just leads to Price Labs doing a worse job overall. If the goal is to maximize your revenue, best to avoid this setting. Now, here's something super important that most people don't realize when they're first getting started with Price Labs. Sometimes you'll set everything up and notice that certain dates are priced way higher or lower than what you want. Don't panic. This is actually totally normal and there's an easy way to figure out exactly what's causing it. Let me show you how to troubleshoot this. First thing you'll want to do is go into your calendar view in Price Labs. This shows you all your pricing day by day. Now let's say you notice that a random Tuesday next month is priced at $300 when your base price is only $150. Here's exactly how to figure out why that's happening. However, over that specific date in your calendar, Price Labs will then show you something called the price calculation breakdown. This is basically a detailed report card that shows you every single factor that went into that final price. You'll see things like your base price, seasonal adjustments, day of the week adjustments, maybe last minute discounts, length of stay discounts, plus any other rules that you've created that are impacting the price on that date. Each one will show you the exact percentage it's adding or subtracting from your base price. So for example, maybe you'll see that there's a 50% seasonal adjustment plus a 27% weekend adjustment plus another 30% because it's during a local event that Price Labs detected. Once you can see exactly what's causing the price to be higher or lower than what you want, you you can go back and adjust those specific settings. If you need to make changes, just go back to your customization settings and adjust whichever rule is causing the issue. The best part is, once you fix it, that change will automatically apply to all future dates that match those conditions. But if you notice that the setting is only impacting one single day in a way that you don't like, then your best bet is to just do a date specific override. This means you'll manually override the pricing on just that one specific date. I find that I rarely ever do this since Price Labs does a great job of pricing 99% of the time, but it's nice to know that it's super easy to do this when it is necessary. And here's a pro tip. Always check a few different dates that seem off before making changes. Sometimes what looks like a pricing error is actually Price Labs detecting demand that you didn't know about, like a local event or high competitor occupancy. Now, real quick, here are the exact settings I use on one of my properties. But truth be told, how you set up your Price Labs account should always be specific to your market and your unique listing. If you want help configuring all your settings, consider joining BNB Tribe. We've got awesome detailed training that'll walk you through the entire setup process step by step, plus weekly live calls where I can help you with your own pricing hands on. You'll also get special discounts with companies like Price Labs and dozens of others plus access to an amazing community of hosts all over the world. Joining BNB Tribe costs just $49 a month and it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. The link to join is right at the top of the description down below. So click the link to join and I'll see you inside. Okay, now back to my exact setup. As you can see, I've got two distinct seasonal profiles set up. Each one also has custom minimum stay profiles. I've configured a last minute pricing discount that gives guests 1% off per day for 35 days leading up to a vacancy. And this is specifically because this listing is one that doesn't tend to get a lot of last minute bookings. So the discounts help quite a bit with that. Next, I've got a four night minimum stay requirement for all reservations that are more than 210 days out in the future, plus a 10% premium applied to all dates more than 270 days out in the future. As you can see, this strategy is working exceptionally well for me. We're in our low season right now, and this listing is getting much better occupancy than any of our competition. So there you have it. 
a complete overview of why Price Labs is hands down the best pricing tool for Airbnb hosts. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Airbnb optimization tips. And don't forget to check out BNB Tribe if you want my complete Price Labs setup guide, plus tons of other resources to help you succeed with Airbnb. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.